Well, good morning. Day three of practice. This ramp right here is probably 10 or 12 miles upriver from Burnside. So up today we're fishing upriver. You don't really know what to expect up here, but I can tell it's low. And what is that? That's a bank that's not rock. I didn't know they were, those were around here. But anyways, we're fishing upriver today. I got one spot that I want to go to. It's about 31 miles up. That's probably as far as I'll go. If I can make it that far, the water's low and the map is not picking up. So we'll just kind of peck around and see how far we can go, how far I'm safe running. The problem with this is, like if you're in Florida, you run running two foot and a half, two feet of water all day. It's no problem. Here, you run two feet of water, you hit something, you're done. So you hit something here, it's a rock. So we can't have that. Oh man, almost fell in the bottom of the boat. So I've been here like 20 minutes probably and I've probably had 10 or 12 bites from fish exactly like this. So obviously up here there's a ton of spots. Usually where there's a bunch of spots there's smallmouth as well. So we got to figure out either smallmouth or largemouth up this river or else we got to get out of here. Little spots. So what we've got far enough up now where there's actually current and we're getting some bites. We just need them to be about three pounds instead of one pound. First large mouth of the day, which is surprising. I'm on them little spots, dude. Keep her smaller. Man, he's skinny. Skinny and didn't even fight. Less than a two pounder, probably. Well, boat ramp number two of the day. We shaking because I'm walking down a steep incline. So, first place we probably caught, I don't know, seven or eight, nine keepers, something like that. Mostly spots. I didn't get one good largemouth on video, probably a 16 incher. Real skinny though, probably weighed two, 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 three. And then uh, didn't get a few more spots on video that were keepers. So, we went to the other river now. We put in at the, this is the North Fork maybe, South Fork, I don't know. But either, either way, this is uh, the other river. We're gonna fish around here for a while. Got the chesty on, see if we can't catch some. I mean, clobbered it. Smally. Really downsizing now. And my bass.
keeper spot came up. Could not resist it. I just body slammed him. I can promise you this bait right here is one that I don't want the hooks in me from. They put super line EWGs on this thing. It's about like a frog. Right? That's a good Not really, he hasn't caught one in a while. God, he's freezing cold. Water's done got back here and got 61. This is where they should be loaded in here. So you can see I've got all this buck brush all the way up and down both sides and he came off that stump. Always something a little different seems to hold him. A lay down in the middle of it or a couple bushes touching or something like that always seems to hold him. Ooh, little spot, little red eye. That was a good one. Not really gonna win anything with these, but they are pretty good ones. Making me want to go a little further every time I catch one. Bear keeper right there. Small one, but it's a large mouth. See behind me all these rocks like big old rocks everywhere and then i'm on my side image and i can see them all under the boat i just drove over one that was two feet under the surface kind of scared me but we are we went up both rivers today pretty far about as far as i was willing to go up both of them and caught five keepers that were pretty decent up both you know like if you put them both together up this one right here, I probably caught three or four keepers. Two of them are pretty nice. Maybe three of them are pretty nice. Up the other one, I caught two nice keepers and a bunch of keeper spots. So we're taking out, going to put in at Burnside, try to find something close to Burnside and just see. So let's go. Boat ramp number three for the day. He just barely came up and mouthed it. So I changed colors on my horny toad and I've already had two bites like this exact same size. In about, I don't know, 10 minutes maybe? It ain't been long. So I guess black is ain't the color. It's a 
big spot right there. That's a large mouth. You can even get that thing. Oh man. That's a good one. Two and a half, maybe. Pretty good one. Not bad. How about that? Choking that thing. I'll tell you what, the large mouth seemed to like this better than that old whopper plopper. That's another keeper. What's he? He ate a bluegill. That's what they're doing. They think this is a bluegill. Maybe I need to change colors on my whopper plopper. Barely had him hooked. Fat spot. 12 inch here, but he's a fatty. A little bitty old spotted bass. Don't fall down in there. Skinny. So we got to be back at the ramp at 6.45 today. It changes every single day. You have to be off the water. You can't launch. Well, you can be in the water, but you can't take off and drive. And you have to be back waiting to take out every day at a certain time. So our time today was 6.45. Got to be back. So we're back now. I think we caught enough to make a video. So if y'all like that video, leave a like, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button. Uh, we went up two rivers today, came back down around the launch and caught them better one mile from the launch after we didn't fish 30 miles up two rivers. So that goes to show you, but the problem is this is going to get really, really, really beat up uh, quickly tomorrow or even during the tournament. So we need a lot of stuff to run. So far, they're kind of sitting on the same stuff everywhere. So we're going to run around, try to catch as many as we possibly can. Hope they wait a lot going deep tomorrow for most of the day. 